What is it, Billy? Are you dead? He's in trouble. It's not like your dead husband can die twice. What? Full of surprises. <laughs> I'm fine. You're the Avengers. Are you here to help us? Why would you think that? I think a few unsavory characters settling in the neighborhood. Are you here to help us? <laughs> I think something's wrong here. There's no need to get dramatic. Did you really not see what I saw? She recast Pietro? If you're not watching WandaVision, you're missing out. Marvel is finally back. Hey guys, welcome back to New Society. We discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And today we're going to be talking about WandaVision Episode 5 and of course the new WandaVision Episode 6 promo that was just dropped right now. Boy, was it a crazy episode on Friday. I didn't actually have a chance to um, express uh, like the details. or um, Of course, I expressed my interest and excitement about the episode, but... I didn't have a chance to do a, a decent breakdown about the episode, so I just want to go over that and then talk about the episode six promo that they just dropped and pretty much um, speculate about what this means about the new Quicksilver character that just debuted, at least a new version of Pietro Maximoff played by Evan Peters from the X-Men movies and what this could possibly mean. Because remember, he just came in. He's a newer version of Pietro, technically, even though he's from the X-Men movies. He played Quicksilver or Pietro in the uh, X-Men movies from Fox. But now we have a chance to break it down. So I kind of just want to go over those details. But for, before we get into that, I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, we're already at 1470 subscribers. So I've increased in subs in the last, last few weeks, actually, exponentially. And I want to thank you all for that. You can also go ahead and binge on my videos, too. Plenty of content for you guys to go over and check out. I upload regularly. At least I try to. And I do live streams from time to time when I can. Um, so let's go ahead and get to that. And lastly, so go ahead and follow me on Discord. You can join my server there. And you'll meet a lot of people there who are into the same kind of topics as you are. We also have a lot of channels for you to um, go ahead and join and interact with a lot of people who are into the same topics as you are and the invitation link to that is down in the description box below so, so let's go over the details of episode five so within the west Fuse 80 settings wanda and vision can't get their new babies billy and tommy to sleep billy and tommy made their debut in that episode and they grew up from like five to ten year olds if you saw the episode already so spoiler alert obviously vision is also perplexed about when Agnes arrives to help and then ask Wanda about repeating her sitcom lines. Additionally, Agnes doesn't seem to notice or care when Billy and Tommy age up to five-year-old boys. Shortly after, the brothers bring a dog into the house, and when Wanda and Vision tell them that they're too young to take care of Sparky, they simply age themselves up for like another five years. So outside of Westview, Monica de debriefs, alarms, sword, and the agency escalates its attempts to communicate with the people on the other side of the barrier. Inside Westview, Vision sees a sword email warning about the radiation. Vision also temporarily frees his co-worker, Norm, from Wanda's mind control, supposedly. But I actually do want to say something about that because when Norm was actually free from that mind control, Norm didn't actually mention anybody's name. Norm just went, she's crazy, you know, she's controlling me and uh, it's too painful, I can't take it anymore. She never said Wanda. So I, I'm just speculating that it can be somebody else and it could also probably be Agnes because Agnes acts like, everything is normal like she doesn't seem to either care or even notice when the children age she doesn't say anything she doesn't even question that idea but moving on meanwhile monica surmises that this, she survived her expulsion from westview because wanda willed it she also determines that her 70s style clothing were transformed from kevlar outfit when she wore uh, when she entered westview so darcy theorized that an object can remain untransformed if it fits the sitcom's time period so that's why an 80s drone successfully crosses over However, Monica is alarmed when director Hayward attempts to use a drone to assassinate Wanda. So Wanda not only survives, she emerges from the barrier and warns Sword to leave her alone. She also uses mind control to get the agents to point their weapons at Hayward. When Wanda returns to Westview and reunites with her sons, Agnes reveals that Sparky has died. 
Billy and Tommy plead with Wanda to resurrect the dog, outing her powers in front of Agnes. So Agnes seems surprised when her powers were outed by the children. And Wanda gave some advice to Billy and Tommy, at least told her that told them that they can't just simply age up and escape from the pain. It's very hypocritical from coming from Wanda because she's exactly she's doing that exactly right now in this moment by creating this fabricated reality just to escape her pain because she's feeling a lot of grief because she's already lost vision, of course, and then she's lost Pietro. So she fabricated reality where she doesn't have to escape that. Like, you know, she she just wants to escape that pain and that turmoil that she's going through because she lost uh, vision and her brother. And therefore, she lives in a fabricated world where they're still alive. So it's kind of funny and hypocritical coming from Wanda that she would be giving that kind of advice to her children. And at home, Vision confronts Wanda about what he's learned and refuses to let her drop the subject. Vision also reiterates that his alarm that he no longer remembers life before Westview. But before the situation can escalate further, they were about to actually drop. Like they were about to go down and go hard on each other. But Wanda and Vision are surprised to the return of her brother Pietro. But it's not the Quicksilver from the MCU. This is the one that really surprised me. Like that had me like screaming out of shock. And I had a lot of questions coming up, just wondering like, what does this mean? What does this mean for the future of Marvel? What does this mean for the multiverse? Like, is this really actually Pietro Quicksilver? Does he already have his powers and whatnot? Instead, he's apparently the Pietro Quicksilver from the X-Men movies as played by Evan Peters. So WandaVision's first five episodes are already on Disney+. Plus. The sixth one will debut this Friday, February 12th. That is the Halloween episode, which is the one I've been very lo much looking forward to. At least, especially for Elizabeth Olsen, she's, she really is excited about that one because, believe it or not, she actually had to fight or at least push to get them to wear look those costumes because if you recognize it or if you read any comics wanda scarlet witch wears this costume in the comics so they kind of gave it a halloween like stylized treatment because honestly a suit like that wouldn't be pulled off and it wouldn't be tactical really so it's not combat ready so that's why you don't see her wearing a costume like that because it really looks nothing more than just a costume a silly costume that is but I'm really excited about that episode. That one's set in the 90s. Um, I'm curious to see if the boys will be teenagers by then. Maybe in, when we hit the 2000 sitcom area, the boys will be uh, at least teenagers. We also saw a brief little snip of Vision stepping out of Westview and just pretty much dropping down to his knees. I'm thinking since Vision is still alive in the reality that Wanda created, the moment he steps out, he reverts back to his original form, which is basically just pieces of him put together. Because we can already indeed confirm that Wanda had broken to a facility to collect Vision, bring her with him, and then pretty much play house with a synthesoid corpse. So it's a little sick, honestly. And this is like the moment where Wanda's just going crazy and she's just completely lost it. So you let me know your thoughts. I haven't had the time to actually collect myself because I was still in shock. I was still surprised. I was very excited. I had a lot of emotions just coming out of me on that day where... I did my video on Friday morning talking about WandaVision episode five and about all the excitement. It really did blow up and everybody else who talks about these kinds of things actually made a video about it. So you let me know your thoughts. What does this mean? And another question that I wanted to ask, how did Pietro know, or at least I heard a voice in the trailer that you saw at the very beginning of this video. And it was pretty much Pietro asking about Vision, like dying twice, or at least, you know, coming back to life. How did Pietro know about Vision? And even if it was the original Pietro from Age of Ultron, poor Aaron Taylor Johnson, who never got to come back to the role, uh, probably due to like conflicting schedules or maybe just not having interest in coming back to the role. Poor Aaron Taylor Johnson just getting kicked out of his own role. Um, even if it was him, Aaron Taylor Johnson, to revert back to his role or reprise his role of Quicksilver, he wouldn't even know anything about Vision anyways. He had died before he even met Vision. He never had a scene with Vision. So how did Pietro know about Vision dying? And when you think about it, he called them a popsicle. That's what people are when they're corpses. They're popsicles. So again, how does Pietro know about Vision being dead? Which begs the question, could this version of Pietro be just the devil himself, Mephisto, or even Nightmare, perhaps, uh, taking on the role of the brother of Wanda and if Wanda ever finds out that that was the case she's going to be very very pissed and just furious because you're toying with someone's feelings like that 
But that's just one of the questions I just wanted to leave at the end of this video, guys. You let me know your thoughts. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. And as always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.